Hello trainers and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough. My name is Professor Sakuram and last time we left off we had just finished hit facing this, uh, this little bug maniac over here. We've been starting on this route over here too. Uh, we're on our way to Verdant Turf and uh, just a little team analysis of what we've got so far. We have Salad Fingers who's at level 17. I didn't teach him confusion yet. I'm waiting just till I get my grind flow on after I do a little bit more. I got Cedramon, Kevin, Gulliver, and Plava Laguna, as well as Mayor Bo. Um, this episode now can't... I did teach a couple DMs to uh, uh, Salad Fingers, teaching it Thief and Thunder Wave. I don't remember if I did this on screen or off. Uh, feel free to let me know. But without further ado, let's keep trucking. Let's keep on trucking. And uh, we're going to face this little boy over here if he has a... He's a challenge. Here's Tacey here. Nope, he's not challenging us to a battle. Turf. And we don't have Cooper on our team right now, so we can't actually go through here. But we could always come back. And we do have something popping up on our uh, on our Dex nav. And we've missed our opportunity to catch it. Great. But we do have Oddish over here, which is nice. Um, why I didn't try catching one before, I have no idea. Uh, but we're going to go for the Thief. Because that's our best move right now. And our only move. As it goes for the poison powder. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this. Now, Thief, I believe, is a physical type move. Which is kind of terrible. Actually, it's very terrible. Because Alakazam, and I mean not Alakazam, Kadabra, isn't much of a physical attacker as you can see. But we can at least guarantee that we're going to do some damage to it and not knock it out. Which is nice. But the poison is going to get to us on top of the acid, and it's doing quite a bit of damage, um, just considering. So we're going to actually go for the paralysis right now with Thunder Wave, and we land it, luckily. So now this thing may not move, may or may not, depending on if luck is on our side, as the Odyssey uses Sweet Scent, which is okay. I'm okay with this, actually. The evasion harshly fell, and the poison's just racking up damage on us now. So we're going to go for the Thief. Let's see Thief here. Should bring it down to the yellow. Yep, just as I thought. And it was a crit. And it was paralyzed that it can't move. So we just take some poison damage here. And we're going to throw a Pokeball hole and cross our fingers that uh, it doesn't break loose. I mean, it's paralyzed and it's in the yellow. So I think we should be pretty much set. Um, now, did I think of a name for this? No. <laughs> should I? Probably. But depending on actually the, um, hmm, now I'm trying to think. But while we're thinking, let's just read our Pokedex entry. Oddish, the weed Pokemon, female, type grass poison, height 1 foot 8, weight 11.9 pounds. Oddish searches for fertile, nutrient-rich so soil, then plants itself. During the daytime, while it is planted, this Pokemon's feet are thought to change shape and become similar to the roots of trees. Yes, we're going to give it a nickname, and I think we're going to go with this name because it's the closest one I can think of. We're naming it Lilo, from Lilo and Stitch. Lilo has been transferred to Box 2. So, with that being said, let's, uh, let's grab this. It's a great ball. Great! Um, it's not, not what I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking for, but you know, I'm not really looking for anything right now. I'm just kind of making my way through. I'm making my way downtown. Uh, let's see, another Oddish. Uh, do I, I don't have a nickname for it if I do catch this one. So we're going to run for now. Um, again, like I said, the goal will be to try and complete the Pokedex, but I'm not going to make any promises. Um, I'm gonna do my very best and at least have a huge team by the time huge array of Pokemon to choose from by the end of the playthrough Hey, could I get you to battle the Pokemon? I'm raising the Pokemon Yeah, uh, we got a challenge from Pokemon breeder Isaac So I actually really like the male breeders in this game. They actually look kind of cool the blue hairs very nice along with the uh the farm gear but I always think them like to not have I confuse the genders a little bit at least on the uh, um, the overworld sprites 
just because they're they're very similar I guess you could say to the female sprites so I always think that the guys are female but that's just that's a it's a thing I guess that's just me being confused and we got Cedramon out here whoop Cedramon going for that bot attack that does so much damage why is Gyarados so strong that's incredible like I never knew Gyarados was this strong because I I've actually never I don't know if I said this before but this is the first time I'm actually using a uh, uh, the Gyarados so this is pretty new to me the uh, the amount of power it has but it doesn't have any stab moves yet so it kind of stinks right now um, Aaron is out or Aron and we're gonna go for the let's go for vital throw because that's the closest thing that we got it's four times effective against rock steel which is what Aron's typing is but I want to catch an Aron like while I'm on the grind I'm gonna like grab a bunch of oh, I knew I should have went for fake out while I'm on the grind I'm gonna catch a couple more Pokemon too and just show off where I got them um, because there are certain areas that we do need to go back to at some point but not right now um, I think the best bet would be to wait a little bit because there are some things that we can do now that we weren't able to do before but I'm not sure what our levels like to be in those places and I don't want to go there and be completely under leveled and get obliterated and embarrassed <laughs> On screen but that's uh that's just my own personal vendetta against going right now um, I'm probably gonna go I'll probably go like after we get to the halfway point of the game which is after our fourth badge um, which is our next badge actually so maybe after our next badge I'll head over or uh, you know after the not this next badge the badge after the fifth badge because they're very close together because you can get them right back to back essentially without even trying um, so I'm going to do that after that badge before we have to go across the ocean a little bit. Um, or at least a hop, skip, and a jump away to the next area. Or the next part of the region that we can't reach yet. I'll head back to Duford Island and go through Granite Cave. Um, because that's that's a spot that should be taken care of at some point. Um, we're going to go with... Let's go with... Kevin. I want to use Kevin. I have a lot of water Pokemon. I just noticed... Uh, my Pokemon are kind of very, I don't know. I feel like I don't have a lot of variety, but at the same time, I have a di lot of different species of Pokemon, but not a lot of uh, different types of Pokemon, if that makes any sense. So, like, I have a couple water types here. I have, like, two psychic types now. I have a fighting type. Um, I have one rock ground type. I have a couple of electric types. It's, it's like, I'm very very in like I have a select few typings to go through the game with right now um, where I should have some more I have a couple I have two bug types now um, which is great and I like having the two bug types but I haven't been using them a lot because I'm not super super useful right now acid spray what does that do right now let's see acid sprays 40 base power accuracy of 100 use your spits fluid that works to melt the target this harshly lowers the target's special defense stat Acid is 40. This may also lower this. Okay, so acid spray is just a better. Okay, it's a better version of ash of acid. It's a better version of acid. There we go. Um, that guarantees the special defense drop, which is cool. So we're gonna go with acid spray over acid. And Sun Fingers is at 18, which is great. And it learned disable. I wanted to learn some offensive moves, and that's gonna happen at some point and we learned dragon rage what we got some new moves here that I gotta try out but I'm gonna go into I'm gonna stick with Kevin right now because we got acid spray and I want to see that uh, okay so that's what that is it looks like sludge bomb a little bit and the special defense did go down like quite a bit so that's really good and we're gonna go for the water pulse again uh, just because that's uh, one of our other strongest moves that we have going on here yeah. All right, 204. And the Makohita is coming out. We're going to send out Cedra Mount. Cedra Mount, come out, Cedra Mount. 
we're going to show him and make him fall on the ground. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. But we're going to go into here, and the Makohita is about to go down, probably. Unless... Oh, we got to Intimidate off, too, so that's great. Yes. Uh, we're going to go for Dragon Rage, because that's, like, our first new move, as it does go for Fake Out, which is good move. Good move on his part. I don't even remember the trainer's name, actually. So we're going to go for Dragon Rage again, because it's going to do 40. Which is a lot. Oh, jeez. I hope that didn't show up on Catcher. A Capture. Uh, there we go. And Tackle Attack should be able to finish it off. Just imagine a Garrett. I don't, I don't see it working that well. I see it. Or working too well. It works too well. Isaac, okay. You've raised yours superbly. $680. It's pretty good. Are you a trainer? What do you think? Aren't these flowers pretty? I planted them all. Wow, you did really nice as I trample through them. I can't get by. There we go. What's this? Mawilite! We got Mawilite! One of the best Mega Evolutions out there. I love Mawile. Mega Mawile. Um, but we're going to ignore that one. Uh, let's head to the Pokemon Center really quick. Before we do a dangle thing. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Sure. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few moments. And wow, that looks... Gyarados just looks powerful right now. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Thank you. I think. What do you have to say? Back in the day, Vantaf was famous as a getaway to Smash. And the clock has Dad was back when I was alive and kicking go. Alive and kicking. I dare say a trainer isn't qualified to call himself a trainer if his Pokemon aren't friendly toward him. Have you been giving your Pokemon Pokeblocks? I haven't. It's just because I haven't had the time to make Pokeblocks, but I am spending a lot of time with them. I try. With the way the wind blow, winds blow, volcanic ash is never blown in this direction. That means that the air is clean and delicious here. It could surely do wonders for the frail and sickly. See that cave by the Pokemon? There's a guy in there who's trying to bust up boulders so he can bust through to the other side. It'd be great if we could get through. Then I'd be able. To re then it'd be real easy to visit Rustboro. We might as well go try to do that. But do we have anyone? Oh, we do. <gasps> we can teach you Rock Smash. Why didn't I do that before? That's a better move. And then we can get rid of it later. We're gonna get rid of Vital Throw for Rock Smash. I'm deciding this now because it's actually a really good move. It's a decent move. And we're going to go for that. So now we have a stronger fighting type move. Yay! I'm so excited. Ah, no. Don't want to go through that again. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the Rust Turf Tunnel. Oh, jeez. What do you call a man who lives among the mountains, the mountain crags? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call Pokemon? Why don't they call a Pokemon that climbs steep cliffs of Procragmon? Huh. I don't know. Hiker Mike, you have bested me in my abilities to think. Thank you. Salad fingers, let's go. I am of no match for you right now, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out Kevin because I believe Kevin will have a better time and an easier time battling you. So we're going to do that as I plug in and charge my 3DS because that is not okay that my 3DS was almost going to die in the middle of recording and I would have been really, 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 really sad. But we are able to knock out this Geodude with a Water Pulse, which is amazing. Solid fingers going. We're going to... Oh, we have to now. Gulliver, let's go! Hit. Oh, and come back, Kevin. Yeah, come back, Kevin. Gulliver! You do your best right now. Use Air Cutter. Go! Shh! Matchup! Oh, 
no! He's down and out! Taken down in one hit! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! My Pokemon ran out of power! Yes, it did. Um, we can actually go... Dushave? I'm gonna grab you. We found a Max Aether! Ooh, and there's a spot right there that we'll have to talk about later. I don't know if I actually discussed all of that nonsense, but we'll get to that when, it, when we get to that. On the other side of this rock, my boyfriend labors day after day. He He's not just digging this tunnel to come see me. He's working... He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. I want to do something about this boulder, but it's beyond me to deal with it alone. Y your Pokemon, it can use Rock Smash? Please, use Rock Smash and break up these boulders. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this. Wow, you shattered those boulders blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this. We obtained Agronite! I found that when I was digging for the tunnel. I felt that I felt like there's some mysterious power coming from it, but I don't think I could do a thing with it. Wanda, no, I can see you anytime. That's that's wonderful. Come on, let me take you to my place so you can rest. He has been working hard. He's been working very hard. So we're gonna actually instead of going straight back to Verdant Turf because we do have to talk to her really quick because we're gonna receive something that we're gonna like a lot. Um, we got this this thing here. Uh, Kadabra is not going to be doing anything to you. Just because I don't want to go through right now. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got this way. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Yes, I can with my handy dandy dowsing machine. Wait. We found black glasses. There we go. That was a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> Drop my glasses. Can you help me find them? Those glasses. May I see them for a second? Oh, these are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. But maybe my glasses aren't around here. As he leaves. So we got our black glasses. We could just get the item and walk away. But better to be nice thinking that they're his. We got the HP up though. HP up though. That's probably like clipped the mic or had a little bit of a fuzzy feeling that tree does not look right I'm telling you that now just saying it out loud saying what i'm saying and i've got this i've got this little little antennas i got antennas um here's our contest all right here i don't know now i the thing about the contest is like in the older games well, this is wanda's house we're gonna go in here in the older games, the contest halls were, like, different. Like, so you had to go to in the order for contests. But we're going to talk to Wanda. Oh, you're the sack room who, was, who Wally was telling me about. I'm Wally's cousin, Wanda. Okay. Thanks to you, I can see my girlfriend every day. Happy. Happy? You bet I am. And you're not giving me anything. I thought you gave me something. Maybe it's not until after the Delta episode. So you did come to visit. If you're looking for Wally, though, I'm afraid he's gone. After he lost to you in Mauville, he said he had to train more, and we weren't—we haven't seen him since. It must be his Pokémon that have lit such a fire in that boy and given him so much hope to live for. It's amazing. My daughter's boyfriend was digging the tunnel by hand. That's so incredible. You're impressed. I can see it in your eyes. Um, before we talk to that little girl, because we're going to be able to get something from her real quick, I want to talk to you. I want to see what this is. Let me see how friendly your Pokemon is towards you. Oh, it's getting used to you, but it seems to be, it seems to believe in you. That's cool. At least our Pokemon believe in us. That's all I can ask for. My Shroomish got lost. It disappeared around the sign. Where did it go? Hmm, I wonder where it could have went. Let's check around the sign. Verdant Turf Town. The wind swept highlands with the sweet fragrance of grass. <gasps> a shroomish! Meow! Mish! Ah, 
Ah, Mushu! Thank you for finding my shroomish. I'll give you this. I just found it. It has a strange shape and it looks amazing. We retrieved an intriguing stone. Now, really cool thing here. Remember that we can actually connect. This this tunnel here is connected back to uh, Rustboro. So if we head over this way and not get encountered by all these Pokemon. Um, which we're going to try not to do. We're going to do our best anyway. I can't make any promises. I just want to make it through. Come on, let me make it through because we got one more. We got one more thing that I want to try and show off and see what I can do. And... I'm, I'm, I'm walking because it might be... I might be able to get through a lot safer. And... We made it! Whew! Now. Whoa. Oh, it's you! You're the trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods, and I also got my case back that was stolen and then graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the case arrived safely. I thank you very, very much. If it, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with the gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball as a token of our appreciation for all your help. Would you like? Would we? We would like to give you one. We received a repeat ball. Please try it. Do try it out. Thank you and bye bye. Very convenient that you were waiting for me outside this tunnel. But we got one more stop. We got one more stop. I promise, and that's it. And uh, hopefully we can get through without too many interruptions. Huh? Ah, we made it. Made it through without any interruptions. Now we just gotta go this way back to the Devon Court because I actually need to see. Our president really quick let him know at least that we get delivered the letter to Steven uh, and uh, delivered the Devon goods all right let's go all the way oop stairs and we'll be going back over to the corner of this office here talk to him hmm ah that intriguing stone you have on second look it seems to be Pidgeotite doesn't it we received Pidgeotite well, I knew that we were going to get Pidgeotite, but I didn't think that we would actually talk to him before, like, get it before we actually told him that we got the stone or whatever, did the delivery or whatever. To be carrying around a mega stone like that, it looks like you're also a bit of a connoisseur. Alright. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Uh, also, don't forget to leave your friend code and your battle codes in the comments section below so that I may receive a Wi-Fi battle from you in both meanings of the term. Now, the best way for you to challenge me to a Wi-Fi battle is to uh, follow me in my socials, which are in the link, which the links are in the description in uh, right there. So you can follow me on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Now, I do live stream on Twitch. It's been a while, and I will do it again at the end of May, uh, middle end of May, around then, maybe even sooner if I'm if I'm lucky enough to really find myself a free time to do it. And um, I also, if you, the better way probably to contact me now for a Wi-Fi battle would be to uh, contact me via um, via Twitter and via Twitter. You just tweet at me and let me know what goes on, and then uh, we'll have a Wi-Fi battle. So, again, thank you guys for watching. My name has been Professor Sacrum, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!